You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is the Diplomat Magnum. Diplomat has been making these pens for years. I've had this particular pen for at least a couple of years, and I've just never gotten around to reviewing it for one reason or another. I saw in my email today that there are going to be a few more versions of this pen released. There will now be translucent demonstrator versions in blue, orange, and purple. I'm not sure if these satiny solid colors are going to stick around or if they are being phased out, but nonetheless, I think definitely worth taking a look at this pen because you don't see them uh, all that often, it feels like. So, uh, let's look at this... Uh, uh, this body here is a nice sort of satiny plastic finish. This is a this is a resin. You can also see it's picked up some some grime and a little bit of ink, perhaps from being thrown in my pocket. This is a pen that I don't take particular care of because it can take the beating. And they only cost about twenty bucks. I think I might have actually gotten this one on a sale for like twelve bucks at some point. But in general, you'll find them in stores and online for somewhere between between twenty and twenty five dollars. So, satiny plastic, uh, pretty nice springy clip. This one obviously hasn't sprung on me. It's good for putting on all kinds of pockets or shirt plackets or sticking on the front of a notebook or something. And as you can see, this thing is nice and tight and springy, but not so tight that you can't get it on clothing. And even though the end here is just square, it does have a nice bit of a, uh, a ramp so you can get it, on a, get it on a piece of paper if you want to. The clips and cap bands on these models are sort of satiny, but the new ones look as though they are more of a polished chrome look, which is totally fine and uh, I think looks good on those demonstrator pens. I do like the, the satiny feel here, and you also have Diplomat here on the clip, and then Germany up here at the top of the clip. You have a nice sort of plastic black finial up here. It's picked up some scratches and stuff, but like I said, this is a... This pen is a little bit of a beater, so definitely uh, just, just chuck it in your pocket pen. You have an ink window here, which will let you see your ink level. This one is nice and fresh. I just popped a new cartridge in here yesterday, and uh, you know, standard international cartridges. Also will take a converter if you like converters, but uh, yeah, cartridge works totally fine in here with no problems. The section is a little bit on the skinny side. If I was going to knock this pin on anything, it would be the skinny section. This goes from 8.2 millimeters up here at the front all the way to 9.5 millimeters here at the back. But it's also a little bit deceptive because as you can see there are flat sides. This is encouraging you to hold in a sort of traditional grip here. But that also means that it's it's thinner here where you're gripping. And it's also very difficult to measure with a thing like calipers without doing a bunch of maths. And I'm not going to do maths on it. So there you go. It's about, uh, I don't know, probably 9 millimeters, maybe 8.5, give or take, in this area here. And that's a little bit on the skinny side for me. I prefer it to be around 10-ish. But I haven't had any problems writing with this pen in the whole length of time I've had it. You can also see the nib here is a, uh, a number 5 nib. And it's also got a sort of satiny look to it. The new ones also look as though they're polished. This one says, uh, says Diplomat, it says Magnum, and it says Medium. I actually remember these pens only coming in mediums, but looking at the store pages right now, it seems that they're going to extra fine through broad, so all the various nib sizes. And these are number five Yovo nibs, so they're going to be solid nibs. Uh, usually right out the box. I've also had no problem with the flow. This is a little bit of an, a non-typical uh, feed here. I haven't seen this feed on other pens as far as I know, but uh, no problems keeping up. Also, it looks like there's a crack here. Uh, it's not. I was just, just running my finger across that. It's actually just a seam in the plastic, the injection mold, I guess. Uh, does it post? Yeah, totally posts. And it posts pretty well because it's a very, very light pen and a light cap. Weight capped on this thing is about half an ounce, which is uh, 13 grams, give or take. And so very light. Uncapped, though, it is 0.2 ounces or 6 grams, which is just kind of, it's barely there. It is extremely light. So if you like a very light pen or you want a pen that's going to go in your pocket and you can kind of forget that it's there because you're not constantly feeling it banging against your leg or whatever, this is a solid pen for that. Okay, let's do a little bit of a writing sample, show it next to some other pens, and uh, at the very end, I'll throw up a graphic with some measurements and things of that nature. Okay, let's do a writing sample. This is uh, that Diplomat Magnum. And it has a cartridge in it, which is uh, diamine. 
Burgundy Royale. Snib is a nice medium flow. There's nothing nothing weird going on here. It's not excessively dry or wet. Feels good. Starts up really well. I haven't had any problems with this hard starting. There is a nice inner cap here that does seem to to uh, uh, to seal this cap very well. Nice little soft click. It's not going to be up there with the loud clickers and that sort of thing, but it definitely does hold the cap on, and it feels good. Feels good. All right, let's look at this next to a bunch of other pens. Okay, so here we have a few pens that are around its weight and size class. This is about a $20, $25 pen, and so I've sort of put it with $20, $25 pens. We have the Lamy Safari over here on the left-hand side. We've got the Twisby Eco, the Twisby Go, of course, the Diplomat Magnum we're talking about today, and the Kaveco Sport, which is uh, everybody's favorite little pocket pen. So, uh, yeah, you can see it's a very normal size of pen. It's slimmer than these over here and a little bit shorter as well, but well bigger than a pocket pen. It's not really a pocket pen. Let's get some caps taken off and see how that looks. Okay, so there you have the caps taken off. And I posted the Kaveco Sport because really that's how you're going to write with a Kaveco Sport. Uh, my hands are way too big to be writing with a, an unposted Sport. So the Sport ends up being a little bit longer than most of these. Let me get this squared up better. There we go. Uh, ends up being a little bit longer than most of these. It's in the same realm as the Eco and the Safari. Uh, the Go and the Magnum are in the same area, but you know, within a millimeter or two for all of these. And I think that's a perfectly fine size for writing. I've never had a problem writing with any of these. So there you have it. So thanks for watching. This has been the Diplomat Magnum. It is a perfectly good sized pen. No weird issues. Uh, doesn't. It feels like a pen that punches above its weight class at 20 bucks. It's a great nib on a very nice, light, kind of stylish pen, I think. I've always liked the look of the Magnum. Maybe I could deal without do without this. Yeah, I could probably do without that extra black finial. I don't really know what that's doing up there. That's my, that's my style quibble for you for, for right now. And it looks like in the new translucent versions, they have matched the uh, the finial here to the rest of the body color, which I think looks just fine. It doesn't look as, as odd, perhaps, as the big black finial on every model of this particular pen. All right, so go find these Diplomat Magnums at your local, uh, I don't know, your local penery, place where you find pens, or your favorite website online selling pens, because uh, I think these are definitely worth having. They're definitely worth passing along, getting somebody interested in a pen that is going to work really well for them. And you don't have to worry about any weird stuff. It's an excellent starter pen. Just pop a cartridge in and away you go. All right, I'll see y'all in another video. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what your favorite low-cost pens are, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Ink dependence. I'm Mike, and today we're taking a little. Uh, dependence. I'm Mike, and this.